step up to lead a new activity, it can be intimidating. Today, we're going to focus on being a leader when you are working with kids. It can help a lot to be prepared and have strategies you are ready to use if they are needed. I'm Melissa, and I've got some strategies that can help you be confident and prepared when you get up in front of a group you are leading. A good leader has a vision for what the group is supposed to do and motivates others to move forward. When you are leading activity, this means you have a learning objective and strategies to help move the group toward your learning objective. Using a focus question is one way you can make your learning objective clear and move the group toward that objective. Let's see how Jimmy sets up the focus question for a group of learners. One way to build a strong lesson is by using a focus question to drive the learning. Focus questions help direct youth toward a goal while sparking curiosity about a phenomenon. Watch as Jimmy uses a focus question throughout the lesson to help youth orient to the activity. Today, you guys are actually going to take on the task of being a scientist and an engineer and design your own tower. Thanks, Jimmy. This is our first strategy. When you are leading, have a vision, a learning objective in mind before you begin so you know where you are going. Then, keep coming back to that as you direct the group toward your objective. Another attribute of leadership is to mediate conflict. Sometime, it will happen that the children you are leading have a conflict, often because they get frustrated with each other. You can help them learn how to work effectively with others. I know Jimmy has had some experiences with this in his program. Jimmy, what do you think about negotiating conflict when you're teaching STEM? Conflict resolution is definitely a sensitive subject for the kids. No one likes to be wrong, and um, the kids definitely are very candid about their <laughs> emotions. What I try to do is I just make sure that the kids feel like they're comfortable. Again, this is a fun place. If you made a mistake, it's okay. What's going on? I'm trying to measure the magnet first right there. I measured it right. Wait, wait, one second. Let him say it. Let him say it. Go ahead. He did actually. Okay, okay, stop screaming because no one's talking to you. Hey, what up guys? This is Sam. Just let him talk and then you get a chance to talk, okay? I was just trying to measure it again to see if that's the right measurement. It's okay. But then he just started screaming at hey, me again. It's fine. He wants to do it himself. You did it yourself, right? Hey there. What? He finished. Let me see it. Wait a second. One second. I'm going to give it right back. Sam. Sam. I'm going to give it right back. One second, okay? That's not how you give stuff to people, okay? Hand it to him, please. You already measured one. So you have to give them the opportunity to do it. And there's a lot of other steps that we have to go through. So we have to hurry this up, okay? May you please hand it to him? He is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him too. May you please hand it to him? Thanks, David. I appreciate it. All right, Sam. Now, you can't get upset when someone wants to help you out. All he wanted to do was help. I understand that you wanted to do it yourself, but we gotta hurry this up. Okay, so if he wants to help out, let your teammates help you so we can get to the next step and then maybe we can help him in his step. It's okay. It's fine. We all mess up sometimes. And I always try to make sure that the kids understand if they have a conflict with each other, just bring it to me before anything else gets out of hand. He's good at that, isn't he? Don't worry if it doesn't go quite that well the first time you try to manage conflict between children. It is hard, but it gets easier with experience. It can be helpful to have more than one strategy ready when conflict happens. Using iMessages is another way you can help children learn to work together. Teaching youth how to use iMessages can help them negotiate conflicts and move past them. You explain that an iMessage starts out with how you feel. I feel blank when you blank because blank. Then you state what you would prefer happen. I would like blank. An I message might be, I feel frustrated, but you interrupt me because it feels like you are not listening to me. I would like you to listen to my ideas without interrupting. This is a strategy that you can teach through modeling when you use I statements and that you can help children practice when they are getting frustrated. Remember, when emotions are on high, you need to listen to them first. Don't try to teach a strategy before you've listened to why they're upset. This is our second strategy. Be intentional about developing strategies 
to help youth mediate conflicts. It is normal for conflicts to emerge. Children are learning how to manage their emotions and work together. As a leader, your role is to be prepared to help them mediate the conflicts that emerge. This is our second strategy. Pay attention to how other leaders in your program do this and learn from them. An effective leader cares about people. Young people will recognize when you really care about them and value spending time with them. Building strong relationships with youth makes classroom management easier and teaching more fun. Just like adults, youth appreciate relationships that are built on trust and respect. You can build positive relationships by being an attentive listener and noticing the individual strengths and interests each child brings to your program. Try to remember the special interests children have shown and comment on them next time you see them. Our third strategy is that a good leader cares about people and fosters positive relationships within their team. This will help you when you are leading a group of children or when you lead with your peers. Knowing that you have a good leadership skills can help you be confident and prepared as you plan and lead activities. There are a lot of different activities you can try in Clover by 4-H. Go to the website and find an activity you think would be a good fit for your program, then share it with your supervisor. Remember, these leadership strategies. A leader has a vision for the group they are leading and motivates their team to achieve the objective. A good leader is prepared with the skills to help others mediate conflict. An effective leader cares about people and fosters positive relationships within their team. These are strategies that can help you be effective as you lead with any type of group. Don't worry if you are not quite ready to lead yet. Try another one of our videos or talk to your supervisor about your questions. Let them help you be successful.